Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Z for today. Today we are doing another wow recipe. Yay! Another fish dish as well. It is going to be hot buttered trout. As a side dish with your hot buttered trout, I'm going to make like a rice pilaf thing. Right, so in real life, to make your hot buttered trout, what you're going to need is trout. I cut the head and tails off and I took out the uh, bone in the middle and just left them like that. Half an onion, two cloves of garlic, brown rice, one chicken bouillon, flour, butter, a lemon, some fresh parsley, and I'm gonna put some pine nuts in there, and salt, and pepper. You'll need some olive oil for cooking with the rice and for frying our To make the hot butter trout, what we're gonna do is we're going to cover it in flour and then fry it so it's got like a nice crispy batter on top of it. And then we're going to kind of cook the butter until it gets like all nice and foamy and brown. Throw in our pine nuts and some lemon juice and our parsley and then like coat that on the top of the fish so it should be like super delish. I hope so. First thing we're gonna do is put our rice, get our rice going because that's gonna take about 45 minutes to make. So the pots you're gonna need for tonight, you need one pot for your rice, one big pan to fry your trout in, and a little saucer pan to uh, cook your butter in. Put your pan for your rice on medium high heat and let's chop up the onion really finely and we're gonna fry that for a little bit before we throw our rice in there. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil in our pot to fry our onion. Um, right, so now we're going to throw in our uh, onions and garlic. If you don't want to take the time to make the rice like this or to cut up an onion or you don't have one and just have rice, you don't need to. I just think rice tastes a lot better when you actually have a bit more flavor to it and it's not so bland. So, And you're just going to cook it until the onions start to get a bit translucent, meaning like kind of a bit see-through. And then we're just going to pour in some rice. And you're actually going to fry the rice for just a few seconds. And then I add in boiling water. And we throw in one chicken bouillon cube. Okay, turn the heat down to like low and then we're gonna cover it and let it sit for 45 minutes. Now that we've got our rice done, we're just gonna do a little bit of prep work for the fish. The fish should only take about four minutes to cook on each side and I'm gonna steam some broccoli as a side dish and that's it. So let's just do the last bit of our prep stuff with our fish. I've got fresh parsley. Um, you can use dried if you don't have fresh, so, and then just finely chop it. So now we just put some of our flour on a plate and add salt and pepper. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on the inside of our fish. We're going to do our fish now and turn your um, big skillet pan onto like high heat or just one notch under high and let it get really really hot and then turn it down once one notch after it's reached like high temperature. We've got our fish and we're just going to put him in the flour mixture. Mm 
And our pan is really, really hot now, so we're going to put our olive oil in there. And hit the flour on my hands. <laughs> And then kind of shake off some of the excess flour. And put your fishy in the pan. He's going to cook for about four minutes on each side and should be nice and crispy and golden when you're done with him. You can kind of see him starting to get a bit brown on the edges there, so we're going to flip him over. A really important thing when you're flipping stuff, you saw I kind of splash things, you always turn it away from you, right? So if you're going to like splash oil everywhere, at least it gets all over the stove and doesn't burn the crap out of yourself. Uh, always flip it away. Okay, get a plate and put down some paper towel and we're going to put our fish on top of here. So even though... Uh, we're going to be pouring hot butter on it later and stuff, like you can still take off some of the excess oil. And the fish ended up really nice, and, and the fish ended up really nice and crispy, and if you let the oil just sit on top of it, um, it'll get a little bit soggy instead of being crispy, so you just take off some of the excess. Uh, time to put, uh, start making our hot butter for the hot butter trout. Um, take your little saucepan. and turn it on to medium heat and we're going to let that heat up and then we're going to throw in some butter and I think I'm going to use that much butter. Why not? <laughs> when your pan is warm, throw in your butter. And the idea is that we're going to, it's not just going to melt, we're going to kind of caramelize it. The butter doesn't really caramelize but it'll start bubbling and stuff and be really cool. So we want it to turn brown and bubble. I turned the butter up a little bit so now it's like medium high heat and I'm just waiting for it to keep bubbling until it gets a bit browner. So by the way, this is a World of Warcraft recipe. This isn't one of my healthy cooking ones. Obviously since we fried fish and we're having a butter topping, um, just for the record. <laughs> the butter is starting to like foam and it smells really sweet. So if you want to see what it looks like. It seriously smells so good. It smells kind of like candy. Okay, our butter's finally getting brown. And now we're going to put in our lemon juice. put in a little bit of our pine nuts. So there's our plates with our rice and fish and broccoli. And here is our hot butter lemon parsley mixture that goes on top of the fish. Ta-da! Now you have hot buttered trout a la Z and a full dinner with the rice pilaf and steamed broccoli. So hope you enjoy because it's good. Thanks for watching and thanks for uh, notes and stuff and comments on the uh, ch class changes and things and um, just I appreciate it. So thanks. See you guys later.